Hello Thunder Ducks and welcome to Sports Beat Special Thanksgiving Edition. On Saturday, November 18th, the NCWA hosted the Richmond Schofield Wrestling Tournament. 18 schools from Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, and Kansas, including the host Richland Thunder Ducks, participated. Here you see the Thunder Ducks battling against schools like Iowa University from Kansas. There's Dustin Basham going at it with an Iowa wrestler. Basham had a great tournament, finishing second to Colton Williams of UNT. The ladies had a great day in the tournament. Six Lady Thunder Ducks placed first, second, and third. Here's Richland Hall of Fame wrestling coach Bill Neal. Uh, and the tournament went off really well. I think a lot of people were impressed. Anytime you have something here at Richland, you're showcasing the college. And uh, we like to do that here. And so I think most people felt the tournament ran rather smoothly and it was a good deal. And uh, we're very impressed. And of course, it was a lot of work that we had put into it. But we're happy we were able to host some people and get them in here and get them to recognize Richland College and the fact that we do have a wrestling program. Uh, some of the new ones did well. Uh, some of them lost some matches, but it was a learning experience. You know, you go out there and you compete. And now we have something to work with to come back and coach and change and uh, seem to see if we can't do it a little bit better. So it was a good experience for everybody that entered the tournament. And there are the results for the Thunder Ducks. In the men's bracket, Dustin Basham placed second and James Moore placed third. On the women's bracket, Noel Preciado placed first and received the Women's Outstanding Wrestler Award. Yurisa Artiga, Angela Buen Rosto, and Alexis Salceda also finished first. Jensen Simpson placed second and Jessica Carbajal placed third. Next up for the RLC is the Wayland Invitational at Wayland Baptist University in Plainview, Texas on December 2nd at 9 a.m. On Tuesday, November 21st at the Big G, Richland's men's basketball faced CYM Prep. We pick up the action in the second half. Barrington Hunter over to Dallas Taylor. Bounce pass to Jordan Castillo off the glass for two. Jerry Jenkins to Raylan Howard to Castillo. Jump shot from the side. Good. Watch this cross move by Jenkins to Hunter for the trace. Swish. Raylan Howard, he hits the trifecta. Richland was up 71 to 34. There's Hunter to Cecil Roberts. He hits it from the D, making it 92 to 55. Watch this awesome play by Richland. Hunter inside to Casillo. Quick pass to Taylor. Lays it in and one. Now here's a top 10 play. Cecil Roberts takes it home. Jams it in for the 100th point. Sweet! Richland hits the 100 point plateau for the first time this season. They were not done, of course. Malcolm Green hits the triple. Fast break action. Roberts over to Howard. He lays it in for two. It was 115 to 71. CYM Prep inbounds it, but wait, Malcolm Green snatched the rock and drives it in for another Richland two. And here's Howard again. Nothing fancy, just a simple finish to wrap up the blowout. Richland wins 122 to 71. They're now seven and one. Barrington Hunter had 29 points, 7 assists, and 6 steals. He shot 6 for 9 from 3-point range. Raylan Howard had 15 points, 4 assists, and 4 rebounds. And 6 Richland players scored in double figures. The T-Ducks will continue their 9-game homestand with Texas Wesleyan JV squad on Tuesday, November 28th at 6 p.m. The Colin Cougars will come to Richland on Wednesday the 29th at 7 p.m. and Southwest Institute for the Deaf on Thursday the 30th at 7 p.m. And CYM prep again on Saturday, December 2nd at 2 p.m. NFL football on Thanksgiving, not a good day for the Cowboys as they lose to the L.A. Chargers 28-6. Minnesota beats Detroit 30-23, and the Redskins beat the Giants 20-10. Sunday's action, the Eagles clobbered the Bears 31-3. They're now 10-1. The Cowboys will play the Redskins on Thursday night. If the Cowboys lose, Philly wins the NFC East. But the Cowboys win, and the Eagles will have to beat the Seahawks next Sunday to clinch. Patriots beat the Dolphins 35-17. The Red Hot Rams beat the Saints 26-20. Steelers over the Packers 31-28. And the Browns are now 0-11 after losing to the Bengals 30-16. College football getting closer to the bowl season. 
In the AP polls, Clemson moves up to the top spot after Alabama's loss to Auburn. Oklahoma at number two, Wisconsin at number three, Auburn at number four, and Alabama drops to number five. The TCU Horn Frogs is at number 10. We'll keep you up to date with the college football playoffs as well as the Thunder Ducks basketball and wrestling matches at richlandstudentmedia.com. I'm True Armstrong for Sports Beat. Till next time, thanks for watching.